Good morning, Baltimore. I'm at Starbucks. Mike, check! I'm at Starbucks. And that man in the orange shirt in Starbucks been knowing me since he was eight years old. Used to come to my store on Falls Road. I'm not the man in the red hat. I'm Shorty. I'm the barbecue guy. I'm the barbecue guy. Art and activism. Told y'all, bring your lunch. You like Tiger King? Well, you're going to love the toilet. The toilet master. The toilet master. This is for Devin Allen. Devin Allen signed that. He gave me that. All right? And these people know me. All right? They know me. They know me in Baltimore. That's Mr. Kelly from, and that's my store on Falls Road. I was making a movie and a documentary about racism. I was making a movie and a documentary about black leadership, civil rights, human rights. I was making a movie and a documentary. Per your request, I was to get the sandwich about 10 days ago. I enclosed the Sundance Film Festival submission. Unfortunately, your submission deadline is passed for this year. The next year is 2009. Y'all locked me up because I was making this movie. The NAACP knew about it. The ACLU knew about it. Baltimore City, Baltimore County knew about it. It was about being black in America. Block party gets bigger and better. Davis, who owns a barbecue business, said he and other companies, a car wash, all right? This is Davis here, civility. In the city, the sixth day, Davis called on art and activism. I'm doing art and activism as a form of political protest. We want to address racism 2020, and we're going to do it in your face. Art and activism. You sending troops to Maryland? We'll send the Department of Justice to do their job right here. I want a federal and state audit. I want to audit Illinois and Maryland. You feel me? I was making a movie about Illinois and Maryland. I am Dred Scott. That's the Department of Justice. That's Kathleen Hughes and Mary and Jamie Lee Foster Brown. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. That's Marilyn Mosby. This movie was about Marilyn Mosby. Ken LaRue destroyed evidence. Marilyn Mosby been blocking the investigation. It's making a movie about you, Gov. The Cradle of Prison Pipeline. Sending our black kids to jail. Stop and frisk and zero tolerance. That's 98 Rock and me. And I told y'all about this. Like I said, I was making a movie. Hands up, don't shoot. Stop killing our kids. We talking about race and racism. And there go the proof. There go Devin Allen. And that's long before Devin Allen was even thought about. That's in 2007. You feel me? That's 2007. Sundance film proposal about being black in America. So my film proposal is about the prison industry. You feel me? It's about the prison industry. It's about Kai Jackson, Vic Carter. It's about the media's role that the media plays in misinformation. It's about Chief H Commissioner Hi Harrison and how he's protecting the corruption and racism here. Commissioner Harrison has evidence to send a lot of these Democrats to jail. But he ain't going to open his mouth. When he see me in public, he avoids me. And that's your witness. Y'all going to have to bring her out of jail to testify. She might cut a deal. Like I said, I was making a stop snitching video. She might snitch on the Democratic Party. I know Brown don't want to talk to me about it. Malcolm Ruff don't want to talk to me about it. You feel me? But Governor Hogan got the evidence. Like I said, I was making a movie. I need a federal and state audit. Because the movie was about the Department of Justice. And like I said, I'm using Starbucks. Starbucks in the Department of Justice. Social justice for social change. And y'all in the movie. I don't have to change nobody's name. You go directly to Chief Hyatt, she got a criminal complaint. We're going to show you that blacks ain't got no rights in Baltimore County because they've been sitting on that criminal complaint for over a year. Over a year. Constitutional rights violations. You go to Congressman Elijah Cummings' office, he got all my paperwork. Al Repner got my insurance claim. 
Brian Frost been shielding this, but he want to go after President Trump. Better take a look in the mirror, bro, because you might be going to jail too. Get my paperwork, because I'm going to break down your criminal enterprise, and we're going to do it right here. We're going to start it where it's, we're going to end it where it started at, at my store. A federal and state audit on Jake's Grill and Shorty's Underground Rib Shack. A federal audit and criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. You feel me? Criminal charges. Because you can't keep protecting Governor O'Malley. They go to the email. That's 2009. Getting ready for my trial. I was exposing Governor O'Malley in this crime machine. And I was doing it out my store. Sundance Film Festival. So Devin Allen. Showing my pictures. Crime and justice. And it ain't going to be just us. It ain't going to be just us. Your cradle of prison pipeline, the school board, all that. We want all that. And that's from 2009. Go to Marilyn Mosby. She had this since 2016. Y'all got her in the hot seat? Well, I want her locked up too. Marilyn Mosby, Nick Mosby, the Marilyn Black Caucus, whoever was involved in my kidnapping, Judge Bennett got it. That's 2018. Y'all been sitting on this for years. That's President Obama. He asked for an investigation. Y'all ain't did it yet. That's President Trump. He didn't had it over a year. So when he send the troops here, I'm asking for whistleblower's protection. When you send the troops to Baltimore, bring the Department of Justice. Send them in for the O'Malley mind machine. When you come to Baltimore, leave our kids alone.